everyone. We are from Penang Matriculation College and our ID number is D08. Today we will be presenting about the 12 to 3 method which is the technique to solve absolute value of inequalities. Now allow me to introduce our team members. I am Devendran and I will be the presenter for this presentation. Besides that we have Kelvin Lim Fu Hao, Ui Jing Ying, Siti Nur Hazika and our leader Muhammad Amir Ashraf. Finally, we proudly present to you our lecturer Mrs. Atira who helped us regardless of time. So, without wasting any time, let's jump into our presentation. Since the pandemic started, students are studying through online at home. This may not be easy for some students as it is not the same as studying face to face with a teacher next to you. Students may have difficulties trying to understand some concepts especially for the subject math. Then, one of my friends have some problems with the absolute value inequalities. Then, here he is. Jibenjun, this pandemic causes me cannot join the physical classes. And when I have FedEx, I cannot understand how to solve the absolute value inequalities. Can you help me? So guys, as you all know, my friend is facing some problems with the absolute value inequalities due to this pandemic season. So now, I am going to help him and my fellow friends out there who are watching this video with the 12 to 3 method. First of all, let's look at the theoretical part of our 12 to 3 method. We designed this method to help students to solve absolute value inequalities in an easier way when there is a modulus either at the right side or the left side of the inequality. If the modulus of x is lesser than a, the lesser symbol should be turned 90 degrees clockwise. This gives us a symbol which looks like the letter n. In set theory, this symbol represents intersect. As you guys know, if the symbol intersect comes in, then we need to use the term which is called n. Now, if the modulus of x is greater than a, the greater symbol should be turned 90 degrees clockwise. This rotation gives us a symbol which looks like the letter u. In set theory, this symbol represents union. As you guys know, when the union symbol comes in, we need to use a term which is called or. Let us move on to our next sample solution. If the modulus of 3x minus 2 over 2x plus 3 is greater than 2, so we need to split them into two inequalities as usual and the term or comes in here due to the 90 degrees rotation of the greater than symbol. Now, let us solve the left hand side inequality first. As for the first step, we need to bring the number 2 to the left hand side to make our solution much more easier. As for our second step, we need to make the denominator equal. As for the third step, we need to simplify the inequality. So, our answer will be x plus 8 over 2x plus 3 lesser than 0. As for the fourth step, we always need to make a positive assumption to make our solution much more easier. As you can see, we have written a positive sign over the lines in the number line. Whereas, we written a negative symbol on the number line where the lines cannot be found. So, you guys might wonder, how do we obtain our answer from this? Well, we always need to refer back to the inequality before we made the assumption. As I've stated before, our answer before the assumption is x plus 8 over 2x plus 3 lesser than 0. So, by this, we know that we need to always take the negative symbol. Our final answer in the interval form will be x is greater than negative 8 and x is lesser than negative 3 over 2. If we write the answer in the set notation, our answer will be negative 8 to negative 3 over 2 in a curve bracket. Now, we will repeat the same step as I've mentioned before in our right hand side inequality. So finally, we need to combine the both answers that we obtain from the both inequalities into a number line. If we write our answer in the interval form, our answer will be x is greater than negative 8 and x is lesser than negative 3 over 2 or x is greater than negative 3 over 2 and x is lesser than negative 4 over 7. If we write our answer in the set notation, our answer will be negative 8 to negative 3 over 2 in a curve bracket union negative 3 over 2 to negative 4 over 7 in a curve bracket. Before ending our presentation, we would like to show some evidence about our fellow friend's opinion about the 12 to 3 method. Well, this is the end of our presentation. Thank you.